This is the last day, G. Y'all thought I was count. Y'all thought this was gang. Y'all ain't gonna throw the ass. Well, get what? Whoever did the video, I'm finna get paid now. I'm finna get paid. Let them hunt it. Let them hunt it for the winner. If I put this wig in my head, it's over. If I put this wig in my head, it's over. If I put this wig in my head, it's over. But you bitches, cause I'm just finna be mad. People are vicious. We need to get them off the street. Though we do forgive who did these murders, they need to be off the street. And until the people in our community start to say enough is enough and start coming forward to speak, it's going to continue to happen. This is the story of Angelia Webster and Kristen Norris, a young couple whose lives were filled with love and promise until a tragic event changed everything. Angelia, a vibrant and expectant mother, shared a deep bond with Kristen, her devoted partner. Their dreams of parenthood and a future together were shattered when they mysteriously disappeared on a day meant for celebration. The events that unfolded would leave a community in shock and their families searching for answers in a case that remains unresolved. Welcome to Crime Corner. Subscribe and hit the bell icon for more stories. This story takes us to Birmingham, Alabama, a vibrant city known for its rich history and tight-knit communities. In this very city, a tragic crime unfolded, leaving a profound impact on all who knew the victims. Angelia Webster, a 20-year-old resident of Birmingham, was a radiant soul with a heart full of love and anticipation for the future. She was eagerly awaiting the arrival of her unborn child, a joyous event that filled her with excitement and hope. Angelia's warm and welcoming personality endeared her to everyone she met, earning her a reputation as a kind and compassionate young woman. Christian Norris, also 20 years old and a native of Birmingham, was Angelia's devoted boyfriend and soon-to-be father of their child. Christian was deeply in love with Angelia. He was also known in the community as a local rapper. He pursued his passion for music with dedication and creativity, using his talent to express himself and connect with others. Despite his budding music career, Christian remained grounded and focused on building a bright future for his growing family. His love for Angelia was evident in every gesture, and he looked forward to the journey of parenthood with unwavering enthusiasm. Angelia and Christian's love for each other and their unborn child continues to resonate with those who knew them. But their lives took a devastating turn. On Valentine's Day, February 14th, 2024, Angelia Webster and Christian Norris, both 20 years old, embarked on a seemingly ordinary date night in Birmingham, Alabama. Excited about their upcoming journey into parenthood, the couple set off for a movie date in a white Ford Taurus. Little did they know that this would be their last evening together. As the hours passed and Angelia and Christian failed to return home, concern began to mount among their families. It was unlike them to be out of touch for so long without any explanation. Worried loved ones reached out to authorities, reporting the young couple missing. The couple was last seen leaving the 1500 block of 20th Place Ensley around 5 p.m. in a white Ford Taurus. Angelia Webster was wearing black and white pants, a black shirt with a skeleton and flowers, black and silver shoes, and pink beads in her hair. Kristen Norris was last seen wearing army green shoes and a black sweater. The Birmingham Police Department launched an immediate investigation, scouring the city for any sign of Angelia and Christian. Flyers were distributed, and social media pleas were made, urging the community to come forward with any information that could aid in locating the missing pair. Well, new this morning, Birmingham police searching for a missing couple who were last seen on Valentine's Day. All right, take a good look at these pictures there on your screen. Police say that Christian Norris and his girlfriend Angelia Webster were la uh, last seen around a 20th place Ensley in a white Ford Taurus. Uh, they're believed to have been heading to an unknown movie theater. Anyone with information about this case is urged to call the Birmingham Police Department. Two agonizing days later, on February 16th, 2024, tragedy struck. Detectives made a grim discovery in the Wylam community of Birmingham. 
Just before 4 p.m., in the 4100 block of 10th Avenue, Angelia and Christian's white Ford Taurus was found parked, containing the lifeless bodies of the young couple. Both Angelia and Christian had succumbed to fatal gunshot wounds, their promising lives cut short in a senseless act of violence. The heartbreaking news sent shockwaves through the community, leaving friends and family members reeling from the devastating loss. In the midst of her grief, and God, we're just calling on you right now, God. We are crying now, but it could be your family crying tomorrow. Sharita Wilson-Clark is fighting for justice, not only for her family, but for all those who have lost a loved one to gun violence. When I say stop, you say violence. Stop the violence. Stop the violence. My brother was murdered back in 08, and they still have not found the person that did that. Not only just him, it was him and someone else in the car with him. Wilson's cousin, Christian Norris, and his girlfriend were found dead the same way. And so, two dead bodies in a car, and now 16 years later, here it is again, has happened in our family. The pain of the couple losing their lives, while those responsible still get to live and are not behind bars yet, doesn't sit right with Wilson. People are vicious. We need to get them off the street. Though we do forgive who did these murders, they need to be off the street. Just a few days shy of it being a month since losing Norris and Webster, Wilson is turning her pain into purpose and hopes to change the cycle of violence breaking apart families like hers throughout our community. It is so constant, you don't have time to mourn someone else. And then there's another murder, and then another murder. And she hopes her prayer for help from the community doesn't go unheard. This this is a epidemic that's going on inside of the black community, especially. And until the people in our community start to say enough is enough and start coming forward to speak, it's going to continue to happen. Angelia's radiant smile and Christian's passion for music had touched the lives of many, and their untimely deaths left a void that could never be filled. Despite the efforts of law enforcement, no arrests have been made in connection with the murders of Angelia Webster and Christian Norris. The case remains under investigation, with authorities tirelessly working to bring the perpetrators to justice and provide closure to the grieving families. Crime Stoppers set a reward amount for any information that could lead to an arrest or resolution of the case. They announced that any information leading to an arrest would be worth $5,000. As the days turned into weeks and then months, the pain of their absence lingered, casting a shadow over the community. Angelia and Christian's memory lives on in the hearts of those who knew and loved them, a poignant reminder of the preciousness of life and the devastating impact of senseless violence. Past few weeks have felt unreal for Angelia's mother, but she knows she can't rest until the people who murdered her daughter are found and says she won't stay silent anymore. Outgoing, she loved people, she loved life, I mean, she was just, she had a personality bigger than life itself. More than one month later, Tamisia Sistrunk is still grieving the loss of her daughter, Angelia Webster, whose body was found in Wylam along with her boyfriend, Christian Norris. Angelia was pregnant at the time she was killed. We had already named the baby Seven, even if it was a boy or a girl. Seven in the Bible means completion, and he, the baby was going to complete her. Sistrunk says the pain hasn't gone away. I go and I sit in her room and I, I, you know, I be like, God, why me? You know, because I'm human and we're not supposed to question God. But I say, Lord, why me? But until her daughter's killer is caught, Sistrunk says she won't stay quiet. Tonight, she held a vigil in her daughter's honor and says she'll keep Angelia's name in the spotlight for as long as it takes to get justice. I know it's someone out there that knows what happened, how it happened, when it happened. And I just I'm just asking for the public to come, you know, come and speak and have talk to Crime Stoppers. We're just looking for answers and, you know, so we can close it, so we can, you know, try to heal properly. Webster's brother, DeMarco Thomas, also shared a deep feeling, describing the overwhelming emotional impact of their tragedy. You ever had your heart just crushed and felt it sink to the pit of your stomach? Yeah, that's what that was like, he expressed, vividly conveying the depth of sorrow and devastation experienced by the family. 
Kristen's cousin, Sharita Clark, attended the funeral and expressed the family's ongoing plea for anyone with information about the case to come forward. She emphasized that their family, as well as Angelia's family, were devastated by the loss and were desperately seeking closure and justice. The cousin conveyed the hope that, by witnessing the pain and suffering their families were enduring, people would be motivated to provide any pertinent information they might have to assist in the investigation. Sharita Clark also mentioned that Angelia and Kristen were excitedly planning for their baby's upcoming gender reveal. She shared that the Disney-inspired party was set for April 6, where friends and family would discover if the baby was going to be a Moana or a Maui. Sharita Clark organized a vigil on March 9, 2024, in downtown Birmingham to support families affected by gun violence. The aim was to tackle the pressing issue of gun violence in the city. Clark also talked about how something similar happened in their family before. She said, We're crying now, but it could be your family crying tomorrow. She remembered how her brother was killed in 2008, and they never found who did it. She said, It wasn't just him, there was someone else in the car too. Two dead bodies in a car, and now, 16 years later, it's happened again in our family. Her words showed how hard it is for families when they don't get closure after such tragedies. Clark stressed the broader impact of gun violence beyond her family, calling for urgent change. The gathering acted as a rallying cry, urging an end to the violence plaguing Birmingham. Community activist Harry Traveling Shoes Turner echoed these sentiments, acknowledging the heartbreak of losing loved ones to gun violence. He emphasized the importance of promoting nonviolence and restoring love, peace, and unity within the community. Despite the challenges, Turner remained hopeful, highlighting the power of unity and collective action. The vigil symbolized hope and solidarity, uniting people in their commitment to a safer, more peaceful Birmingham. The tragic fate that befell Angelia Webster and Kristen Norris is a stark reminder of the senseless violence that plagues our communities. Their untimely deaths shouldn't have happened. They were young individuals with dreams, aspirations, and loved ones who cherished them dearly. Their futures were cut short, leaving behind grieving families and shattered dreams. To prevent such tragedies from occurring again, we must address the root causes of violence in our society. This includes addressing issues such as access to firearms, community resources, mental health support, and addressing systemic inequalities. By fostering safer communities and promoting conflict resolution, we can work towards preventing similar tragedies from occurring in the future. The impact of this tragedy extends far beyond the victims themselves. The families and loved ones left behind are left to grapple with unimaginable grief and loss. Their lives are forever altered, and the pain of their absence will linger for years to come. It's a pain that no one should have to endure, yet sadly, it's a reality for far too many families affected by violence. As a community, we must rally together to support those affected by this tragedy. We must offer compassion, empathy, and practical support to help them navigate through their grief and rebuild their lives. Together, we can honor the memories of Angelia and Kristen by striving for a safer, more compassionate world where such senseless violence has no place. Let us remember Angelia Webster and Kristen Norris not only for the lives they lived but also for the inspiration they provide us to work towards a better future for all. May their memories be a guiding light as we strive for peace justice, and healing in our communities. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.